is hard street art has been going since 2017. There's been uh, a yearly festival in February. In that green building behind you, you there's a little office of Mass Art. They are the people that fund, it's an NGO that fund and organize. The idea behind this one is deals with the rhinos, time is running out. Oh, we are on a trade-off. Okay, this one was done in 2021. Oh, sorry, we But if you look at the churches, and it was... Very old churches This one refers to nature. Uh, it was done by Arthur Lucas. You will see his name up there. They've also got the street names. You can Google them. You can see all their artwork through okay. the world. A lot of them are international artists. Uh, people interact when they take photos here. They yeah. become part of the artwork they also try and help the van carry and things like that <laughs> the one art piece in town was done by the belgium government in 2018 to coincide with south africa's role in the battles in flanders and things like that it's a very beautiful piece done by a belgium artist but they funded him coming here to do this the actual people's that reside in the houses, they give permission for the artwork to be done on the actual houses. <laughs> Anthea Messi, she's a Polish artist, but she travels a lot and considers herself as part of Europe. She doesn't really adhere to any particular country, state for Uh, what do you see there, the lettering says origin and then we look at the fish that they've got here, it's the coelacanth, the original source of life coming out of the sea, the origin. Digitization. You can see the robot figure interacting with the human. This one's got a very interesting story attached to it. Generation Next, 
even though there's the laptop and the tablet there, it features the children and our future with generation there. And when he came here, he decided to do this picture here. And then the community, local people started asking him, why did he decide to do that picture? He said, no, I just had the feeling to do this particular piece. Then the community told him that this was the place where the mobile library used to park. So the guy just gave the guy. So there's an interesting story behind this particular. Thank you. 